Hello and welcome RC Shim in the hangar. Today the Atom RC Dolphin arrived, version 1.1, slightly improved version with flight control board included and I know flashed. Yeah, everything is covered in bubble wrap. Servers are glued in place already and also the link edges installed and everything. You could install VTAIL control surfaces, but I didn't find myself using them a lot on the Mars even so you Dolphin stickers, Atom RC branded 9 gram digital servos. Packaging is, is nice. Manual, carbon spar, not to be forgotten. Full GoPro nose. We get two 7x42 props. The motor looks kind of tiny, this is 2306. 1700 kVs. One of the better GPS's, the Byton 220. Yeah, and that's the thing that I really love. I will give you nice looking close-ups as well. Cables are already in place. Funny, you here you have an XT60 and there it's an XT30 to the motor wires. I contacted Atom RC and yeah, they sent me one for free for review. I have to glue this in. I will probably also glue in the wing. The grips here hold on firmly. I will not install my precious FPV cam in the nose. If I just have the lens module of the O3 sticking out and nothing else, it will be very efficient and yeah, aerodynamic. It should run with various types of batteries. The newer version, the version 1.1, is out like since a month now and I first seen it on Painless 360's channel. Hello Lee. The other main thing is that it has INOV pre-installed, which they also have on their Swordfish. And I really want to have the auto launch feature also on the Maiden. So, <laughs> And totally excited that we now have, I hope this, this stays this way, come on guys that we now have uh, at least three of those planes in our formation. So, should make for some exciting upcoming videos. Loads of room. The nuts for the motor mount. Standoffs. This carbon thing is apparently uh, the camera installation plates. There is an UFL pigtail that you get. But if you use the O3, you need two of these actually. A spare thumb screw for the wing mount. A very long cable for the Vista. Another cable for analog cam. Battery strap, battery plate. Is what could fill up your nose if you don't install a cam. Look at the black beauty. While it's still in peace, I wanna give you a quick run through the setup. One thing that I tried here is to use this bridge for mounting the air unit on. Ended up using this little heat sink and it comes together so nicely. Air turbulences from the camera lead to not much air entering to the normal scoop, so it looks a bit more like a turbocharged vehicle now. I don't use the normal O3 antenna, but rather used what I had. A little true RC and a little run cam link and they are not vertically oriented. But on the other hand these Omnis have almost a, a sphere. If you are curious for the O3 mounting part that I have here, there will be links in the description of course, so you can print it out yourself. I printed it off TPU. I glued in the nose because I don't plan on replacing it. <laughs> I mean, I already have some marks here for the 3000 Ma lithium ion is a bit further in the back and my 1500 lipos will be... I tried it, it would also work to have one 1500 pack here and the second in the tunnel here, but of course I upgraded it with INAV 60 release candidate 3 and it worked like a charm. It just didn't work on my Windows 11 laptop, but I used this Impulse RC driver fixer and then it worked. The settings and everything will be in the description as well, so Crossfire on UART 2, DJI on UART 5, GPS is UART 4, I, I think. But yeah, you will see it in the description. You also, I spent a considerable amount of time designing a nice OSD overview, so you can check out my settings to also find my OSD. Because not everything works in O3 yet, but in this beta flight compatibility mode that the INAF guys came up with, it works 
quite nice. Control surfaces were on default on the outer hole, which is quite extreme. I have enough throws now. <laughs> really an easy thing to complete. It had a high grade of pre-builtness. And it looks awesome. And I'm so excited to maiden this thing today. I've seen better air scoop, airflow, 3D printed parts for the C cover. Should theoretically give us a bit more airflow on the ESC. We'll have the S configurator to set up a motor brake if this is supported. It somehow feels wrong that this isn't heat shrinked, but on the other hand, if I cover it now with tape, is it then overheating more easily? Never touch a running system. And here I have the servo arm protectors in place. Get these printed out and it was a tip from a friend. You just insert a Bowden tube. You can screw in place these little hinges things here to extra secure the two latches. They give me just this extra bit of confidence that the canopy will stay in place, the hatch will stay in place. Also back there. So yeah, really nice looking plane. Ah, this is good, gang. Natürlich. I have no more control for the control surfaces. Mario checking control surface again because we yeah, have... Uh, we already... I'm so happy I have the maiden behind the camera and because he already saved me from a maiden crash. I had... once again I had the servos mixed uh, the, the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but now it looks fine, so in angle mode you can check the control surfaces or the, the flight controller stabilization the best. In manual mode I have a lot of throw, like 8 millimeters or something like this. And I will start in auto launch mode, of course. I have permanently auto launch enabled now. <laughs> Captain auto launch. Horizon looks fine. Is this uh, the Horizon Hawk version of INAF? INAF 6, release candidate 3. Supposedly has the better, the, the not Horizon Drift version is this now. A -H -R -S. A -H -R -S. Yeah. System is. Horizon Hawk. Yep. <laughs> it's going up like a space shuttle, Mario. Yeah, it's 25 degrees of up angle on the auto launch, but that's plenty. <laughs> The plane looks very relaxed from here. Yeah, I'm not relaxed yet, but I will <laughs> be in... Like, give me five minutes and then I'm relaxed. Stall speed is about uh, 45 kilometers per hour. I is think. it? Okay. Yes. That's, that's what I tried to find out online today, but I didn't find it. Not even in Lee's video. Only they, they only tell you that it has a nice speed envelope from really fast to really slow, but yeah. But the image quality with O3, man, this is this is good times. Let's dive. Ah, it's nice. Such a nice plane. Er fliegt extrem ruhig, gell? Yeah. Und deswegen sind wir alle so begeistert. I'm only at like 60 percent of throttle, so it doesn't need a lot of throttle with the slow weight. Ich glaube gern. One hundred and twenty-five, twenty-six. But you can control uh, ah, up to five, come down to five uh, kilometers per hour. Dolphin Ooh. is a really, really ah. nice plane. A dream, or that? The star, but he's on the ground. So thanks again, Mr. Maiden, for saving the maiden. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, 1100 Ma out of them. Roughly 10 minutes, that's not bad. You can note the mass and uh, yeah, calibrate. Make this, yeah, make the scale, the, the mass scale. Yes. I cannot give more up elevator, it will yeah, drop a wing and come back rather, rather nicely. So no ugly stall tendencies. Oh, <laughs> it dropped it rather abruptly now, but yeah, it was all without any motor. Let's try the return home. Return to home. Return to home. 
en route to home. Looks also really nice. Oh, it auto-disarms. 